What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. Spring is right around the corner and that means the beginning of Comic-Cons across the USA where this summer we'll finally see Marvel Studios back at San Diego Comic-Con in D23. But long before then and coming up just next week, we've got CinemaCon, which we cover every year at the channel and have to break down the same details because it's a lesser known con for a reason. It's not really for movie goers, it's for theater owners. They're a different demographic, making this a different type of conference. However, Disney does have a huge presentation and over two hours long coming up this week and we're going to break it down and what to expect because there has been a rumor and for quite some time that Marvel Studios might include a new look at Deadpool and Wolverine. We'll talk about that as well as what else to expect from Disney and what not to expect considering this is CinemaCon and not a San Diego Comic-Con presentation. We'll break it all down and try to separate fact from fiction as to whether or not there's any new Deadpool and Wolverine footage coming this week as rumored, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and rumor like we're covering today and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner with the finale of X-Men 97. Again, all you got to do be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So I sort of alluded to this during the prologue, but every single year CinemaCon is one of the first to take place because it's so early in the spring out in Las Vegas. And so people start getting excited because usually every single year, Walt Disney has a presentation there. And in this case, it's going to be over two hours long. Most studios also have presentations, Paramount, Universal, Warner Brothers throughout the week. It runs Monday through Thursday. And the purpose of these presentations is not to drive fan hype. It's not aimed at the consumer. It's for theater owners. Keep in mind, theaters keep half of the take of general admission. And so really, this is a huge business conference where they're showing their business partners, hey, this is what we're going to be putting in your theaters this year. This is what we're all going to make money on. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean that occasionally a studio won't drop a trailer. Trailers get fans excited, and some of that might coincide, but it's important to know for two reasons. Number one, again, it's not aimed at the consumer, so do not expect CinemaCon to ever be the size, the scope, or even the look and feel of, say, something like a D23 or San Diego Comic-Con. Number two, it's not forward-looking in any way. From Walt Disney and Marvel alike, other studios under their banner like Star Wars, we're used to them forecasting years in the future. This is only specifically for the fiscal year 2024 and what they're putting in theaters this year. So getting our hopes up for anything Marvel during that two-hour-plus Walt Disney panel means that we can only hope for Deadpool and Wolverine because we know it's the only Marvel project going to theaters. Now the 20th century million dollar question is whether or not they're actually going to show new footage and it's not just only hopes and dreams or wishful thinking. This rumor actually hit social media about a week ago, just not from the few trusted sources that we cover when it comes to that sort of thing, so we left them alone. I would say there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is, is considering that Deadpool and Wolverine may be one of the highest grossing, if not the highest grossing thing that Walt Disney and by extension Marvel Studios release this year, it seems like a no brainer they would want to show something to theater owners. To further support that stance, keep in mind that last year, two out of the three entries at the box office severely underperformed, or at least by the normal expectations of Marvel Studios and the theaters alike. So I think there's even further want and a desire on both sides really for there to be something from Marvel Studios like new Deadpool and Wolverine footage. They're going to want to see what's next for Marvel and Disney if it's going to do better than the Marvels. And Disney and Marvel are going to want to show the theaters that yes, indeed, it's going to. The bad news is, is that Marvel unfortunately has had a history, and especially in 2022, of dropping first look footage and trailers at presentations, but only at presentations and not releasing it online. They did it with Guardians of the Galaxy and another trailer at San Diego Comic-Con. They did it with a ton of footage at D23, again, both of these back in 2022, which means the only accounting we get of said footage is by people who were there in person who certainly won't be able to record anything, then they come out and basically tell us what happened, which is cool, but it's not the same as getting to see it. So. Get hyped for Deadpool and Wolverine footage, maybe, but unfortunately, unless Marvel Studios has a plan to release a trailer or footage this week, 
then probably if it's getting shown, it's only getting shown at the presentation. The only reason I say that is because again, the few trusted sources we have that usually weigh in with those kind of things have not said a word about it. So it's kind of hard for me to believe that that's right around the corner and just days away. Speaking of which, the Walt Disney panel will be on Thursday, April 11th from 2.30 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. Keep in mind that is West Coast time. So if you're on the East Coast, that's 5.30 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. If you want to stay peeled to see if anyone comes out early and says, hey, there was some Deadpool and Wolverine footage. Of course, if there is any report of footage, we will break it down in full. I know every single time that happens, you guys absolutely hate it. And there are a million people in the comments being like, why would Marvel do this? Generally, it's because it's just not ready to be shown to the public yet. That's the excuse they gave for the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer. They're still working on VFX. I know it's super annoying, but keep in mind, Marvel is a huge studio. It's a huge business. Occasionally, some of their promo work needs to be done in a private way and like this. But you guys let me know all your thoughts down below. Uh, and again, if there is anything that breaks on Thursday, uh, we will cover it here at the channel. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s here at the channel, and we're going to continue to do so until the PlayStation 5 Pro comes out, and then we'll switch over. In the meantime, we just announced a brand new winner for the launch of X-Men 97. In fact, he just DM'd me on Instagram, showed me a picture. He just got it this past weekend. We'll have another winner next month to coincide with the finale of X-Men 97. If you want to be entered to win, or for any of the other future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below and because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced live in the end of the video with my voice in the winning comment shown on screen. If you liked today's video, I'd sincerely appreciate it if you hit the like button and the best way to keep up with the content here at the channel is to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. Please stay safe and vigilant on any YouTube channel where prizes are given away regularly. Years ago, we dealt with a problem that apparently is still rampant on the platform as they've been targeting my friends' channels. That is to say, if you're anywhere, Instagram, YouTube, any platform, and you should get a comment, please try to remember that anybody can take a content creator's photo, claim to be that content creator, and the whole ruse is to comment that you've won something and then get you to respond. Never share your information on a third party app like Telegram or WhatsApp. And please try to remember that no content creator, not myself or anyone else will ever charge you for the shipping. If you win a prize for that channel, that's a dead giveaway that it's a scam. Be safe, be vigilant. And if you should get a comment like that, again, on any platform, report the comment directly to the platform. YouTube is super fast about deleting those comments and you're really doing everybody at the community a service, not just helping out the content creator, but everywhere that account has commented now disappears. So just think of how many people you're saving going through the same mess. The best way to keep up with the content at the channel has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. Find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at Amfires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music with the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon. Thank <laughs> you.